The Chavan Civilization The Chavan Civilization, which lasted from 900 to 250 BCE in Peru, featured ingenious art and architecture, and had widespread influence on other local cultures. The Chavan Civilization developed in the northern Andean highlands of Peru between 900 to 250 BCE. Their influence extended to other civilizations along the coast. The Chavan Civilization was located in the Misna Valley, where the Misna and Huachexa rivers merge. It is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uriberio lasted from 900 to 500 BCE, and just a few hundred people lived at Chavan de Huander. Ceramics were influenced by other cultures, and the people grew some maize and potatoes. Chukunni, from 500 to 400 BCE, was a transitional time, when residents migrated to the ceremonial center. From 400 to 250 BCE, Jurabario saw a dramatic increase in population, with an urban-slash-suburban pattern of settlement. Chavin had a small, powerful elite that was legitimized through a claim to divine authority. These shamans were able to control and influence local citizens, probably partially through the use of psychotropic drugs, and were able to plan and carry out construction of temples and stone-walled galleries. The chief example of Chavin architecture is the Chavin de Huander Temple. The temple's design shows complex innovation to adapt to the highland environment of Peru. To avoid flooding and the destruction of the temple during the rainy season, the Chavan people created a successful drainage system with canals under the temple structure, the rushing water during the rainy season sounds like one of the Chavan sacred animals, the jaguar. The Chavan people showed advanced knowledge of acoustics, metallurgy, soldering, and temperature control to accommodate the rainy season. The Chavan were also skilled in developing refined gold work, and used early techniques of melting, metal and soldering. The Chavan people domesticated came lids, such as llamas, which were used as pack animals, and for fiber and meat. The Chavan produced ca charqui, or llama jerky, which was commonly traded by camelid herders and was the main economic resource for the Chavan people. They also successfully cultivated several crops, including potatoes, quinoa, and maize. They developed an irrigation system to assist the growth of these crops. Chavan art represents the first widespread, recognizable artistic style in the Andes, and can be divided into two phases. The first phase corresponds to the construction of the old temple at Chavan de Huander, c. 900 to 500 BCE. The second phase corresponds to the construction of Chavan de Huander's new temple, c. 500 to 200 BCE. The old temple featured the lanzan, which was housed in a central cruciform chamber in a labyrinth of underground passages. The lanzan functions as axis mundi, or a pivot point linking the heavens, earth, and underworld. Chavan art decorated the walls of the temple and includes carvings, sculptures and pottery. Artists depicted exotic creatures found in other regions, such as jaguars and eagles, rather than local plants and animals. The feline figure is one of the most important motifs seen in Chavan art. It has an important religious meaning and is repeated on many carvings and sculptures. Eagles are also commonly seen throughout Chavan art. It was intentionally difficult to interpret and understand, as it was meant to be read by the high priests alone. The Tello obelisk is a huge sculpted shaft decorated with images of plants, animals, including caimans, and birds, and humans which may be portraying a creation myth. Tenon heads are massive stone carvings of fang jaguar heads, found at the tops of interior walls in Chavan de Huander. Chavan had wide-ranging influence, with its art and architecture styles spreading for miles around. There is little evidence of warfare in Chavan relics, instead, local citizens were likely controlled by a combination of religious pressure and environmental conditions. The Valdivia Culture the Valdivia culture of Ecuador, 3500 to 1800 BCE, is one of the oldest settled cultures recorded in the Americas. They were a sedentary, egalitarian people, known for their early use of pottery, and feminine ceramic figures. The Valdivia culture is one of the oldest settled cultures recorded in the Americas. 
it emerged from the earlier Las Vegas culture, and thrived on the Santa Elena Peninsula near the modern-day town of Valdivia, Ecuador, between 3500 to 1800 BCE. The Valdivia lived in a community that built its houses in a circle or oval around a central plaza. They were sedentary, egalitarian people who lived off farming and fishing, and occasional deer hunting. From the remains that have been found, it has been determined that Valdivians cultivated maize, kidney beans, squash, cassava, chili peppers, and cotton plants, the latter of which was used to make clothing. Valdivian pottery, which has been dated to 2700 BCE, was initially rough and practical, but over time became splendid, delicate, and large. Bowls, jars, and female statues were used in daily life and religious ceremonies. They generally used the colors red and gray, and polished dark red pottery is characteristic of the Valdivia period. In their ceramics and stone works, the Valdivia culture showed a progression from the most simple, to much more complicated works. Valdivians were the first Americans to use pottery. The trademark Valdivia pottery piece is the Venus of Valdivia, feminine ceramic figures. The Venus of Valdivia likely represented actual people, each figurine is individual and unique, as can be seen in the hairstyles. They were made by joining two rolls of clay, leaving the lower portion separated as legs and forming the body and head from the top portion. The arms were usually very short, and in most cases were bent towards the chest, holding the breasts or chin. Valdivians created rafts with sails, and built a maritime trade network with tribes in the Andes and Amazon. A main trading item was the red shell of the thorny oyster, called spondylus, which were often made into ornaments, and were considered more valuable than gold or silver. Thank you for listening, don't forget to check out other tracks as well. Show your love by hitting the subscribe button and do like, comment and share, to spread knowledge. See you next time, till then keep learning for fun.